This is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com, and tonight we're going to capture the Whirlpool Galaxy. So I'm super excited tonight because this is first light with my new Edge 8 telescope. Uh, we're going to be taking an image of Messier 51, otherwise known as the Whirlpool Galaxy and also as the Question Mark Galaxy. The cool thing about this galaxy is, is that it was actually um, the first galaxy that was called a spiral galaxy. It's about 30,000 light years across over 23 million light years from home. And it's believed to be about 400 million years old. So I figured it was a pretty fitting target for first light for my new telescope. Um, before we get started though, I did wanna say thank you so much to everyone who has supported my channel and subscribed. Um, today I actually hit 1000 subscribers um, maybe when the video comes out, I'll have a little bit more, but basically I hit that 1000 milestone mark you know, on YouTube that everybody's after, and I really appreciate you guys. So just wanted to say thank you. I also wanted to point out, um, the Los Mandy weight counterweight that I got here. Um, it's about three pounds, three and a half pounds with, um, the piece that attaches to the dovetail bar. And it did, it did help me. I was able to actually move the telescope. Um, the dovetail bar would end right here. And now I'm able to bring it all the way down to here, which is probably far enough. I mean, I would have liked to have gotten the, the dovetail bar to be equal with the saddle, but that's all right. I mean, it, it, it's pretty solid and I just feel a lot safer now and I'm able to get a really good deck balance. So I'm happy with that. And I did get a dew shield. Um, I was taking some test images last night, trying to dial in um, the OAG and the guiding uh, in between clouds and stuff. And I noticed that I didn't have the dew shield on and I noticed that uh, the front plate got um, frosted over really quick, but it was very humid here. It's, it's very rare for, um, dew, for us to get dew in the area that I live. It's almost, I don't say quite as rare as Florida getting snow, but it's up there with that. I mean, I've seen do maybe two times in the last three or four years around here. So I don't know, it's been a dry, we've been kind of a drought, so maybe um, that's over and we're gonna be getting some more dew. So I did get a dew strap. Um, I haven't received it yet, just in case. Um, it, it's actually, oddly enough, and almost embarrassingly um, new to me, to uh, use any kind of dew control uh, in the area where I live. So I just haven't had, one thing I haven't had to worry about that I kind of feel like I do now because this thing seems to like almost be a dew magnet. So it'll be interesting to, to see how that turns out as well. I'm gonna be doing bin one on the 294 so that I can um, crop in and hopefully get some incredible detail with uh, um, you know 43 plus uh, megabytes of resolution. I think it's going to really do it justice. Uh, I'm going to be using 60 second luminance subs and either 90 or 120 second color subs RGB. And then I'm going to be doing um, five to 10 minute uh, HA subs. And I'm going to probably get about 12 of those, maybe 18, depending. Uh, I got to see how long uh, if five minutes isn't get show enough or 10 minutes might blow it out. So it's all an experiment and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the majority of them tonight. And I plan, uh, I got one more clear night. This is my first clear night in a week and a half. And hopefully I'll have one more clear night um, before the rain comes back. So I got tonight and tomorrow night. I'm gonna do my best to get as many uh, subs as I could possibly get of M51 and we'll see what we could do. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just about ready to get started. The sky's as clear as could be. Looks like we have excellent scene. So it's right at 12 a.m. and these are the first images that I've ever taken with my telescope. Uh, I've had some testing a few nights ago uh, for about 18 different subs, just testing and fooling around, but um, these are the official subs of a, an actual picture, the first ones. Uh, it's working on the fourth one right now. And I've got my guiding um, at about 0.59 total RMS. The graph looks wonky. I do have it set to uh, to a pretty large scale. And this is with the um, ASI 174 MM Mini. I've got it bin in uh, two, bin two mode. And I've been playing around with the uh, RA aggressiveness and the deck aggressiveness and the um, minimum movement. I've run uh, quite a few calibrations and guide assists. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, this is guiding at 1400 and 22 millimeters at 0.56 total RMS. So I can't complain really too much about that. For the most part, it looks like the stars are round. Um, it seemed pretty much collimated um, out of the box. I do have the smallest bit of oblong stars uh, in the corners, and I'm thinking that I need to add about a millimeter of backspacing. But yeah, so far I'm really liking what I'm seeing. So last night went pretty good. It stayed clear all night and I got the majority of the subs that I really wanted. I did manage to get a little bit of hydrogen alpha subs, uh, not too many. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see behind me, the clouds have moved in. And uh, they came in about a day early and we're supposed to have rain for the next four or five days. So I'm gonna do something that I rarely do and that is go ahead and process uh, my image before I get all the data that I really want on it and uh, I I'm just I'm super excited to see this image because this is first light on my new telescope and, and I want to see what I got uh, you know the subs were just awesome coming in and so I, I really don't have the patience to wait five more days and I wanted to get the video out so that uh, I could share this with, with everybody as well so um, We'll see, we'll see what the image looks like. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, no matter what it looks like, I'm gonna show it to you anyway. But um, thanks for coming along on this journey. And uh, don't forget to smash the like button and we'll see you in the next video.